Today, we'll dive into Buddhism's heart, the Four Noble Truths, unlocking insights into life, suffering, and the path to peace. Upon embarking on this enlightening quest, Siddhartha Gautama, immersed in sheer opulence from birth, faced life's stark realities, aging, illness, and mortality. Amidst luxuries, these pivotal encounters fueled his existential quest, not for more riches, but for profound wisdom. Forsaking his palace's comforts, he sought answers outside its confines, driven by a deep resolve to unravel existence's sorrows. This transformative journey, far from just a literal venture, signified a dive into humanity's trials, initiating a pursuit for enlightenment. Such is the tale that not only reshaped Siddhartha, but also birthed Buddhism, anchoring its teachings in the Four Noble Truths and offering insights into life's suffering and the pursuit of serenity. Through understanding his expedition, we grasp Buddhism's heart and its timeless significance. Emerging from Siddhartha's profound journey, we encounter dukkha, a concept capturing the essence of suffering, stress, or dissatisfaction permeating our existence. This extends beyond mere physical or emotional discomfort, illustrating life's inherent unease with fleeting pleasures. Picture the momentary happiness of acquiring a new gadget and how quickly it fades, igniting a yearning for the latest upgrade. It's a stark example of how attachment leads to suffering. To address this, Buddhism advocates for meditation as a key practice in overcoming suffering. A simple yet powerful method involves focusing on our breath for 10 minutes, observing thoughts and desires without engaging with them. This practice, a step towards Niroda, teaches us to experience life's transient beauty free from desire or aversion, thus guiding us on the path towards true peace and ethical development. Emerging from Siddhartha's enlightenment, the tale of Angulimala emerges as a profound testament to Buddhism's transformative power. Once a notorious criminal, his pivot to an enlightened existence underlines the incredible potential for rebirth inherent in every individual, according to Buddhist teachings. By ardently embracing mindfulness and ethical living, Angulimala realized that liberation and Nirvana's ultimate tranquility were achievable, despite a tumultuous past. This journey underscores a pivotal message. Our suffering, rooted deep in desire, can diminish through deliberate mindfulness and moral conduct. These practices not only foster self-transformation, but also harmonize our actions with the quest for Nirvana, offering a pragmatic framework to traverse life's ups and downs with dignity and poise. Transitioning from the transformative tale of Angulimala, we now explore the Eightfold Path, specifically highlighting right action and right mindfulness as keystones of Buddhist practice. Right action encourages us to live through principles of nonviolence and truth, embodying benevolence in our interactions. Picture a life where every action promotes harmony. Conversely, right mindfulness cultivates an awareness that's likened to observing the natural rhythm of the sea, enhancing our understanding and compassion. It's a practice that bolsters our resilience against life's hurdles. Advancing to right intention, we anchor ourselves in ethics guided by renunciation, goodwill, and harmlessness. This process transforms adversities into avenues for growth, paving a path toward a mindful and ethical life, thereby contributing to a more peaceful world. Building on the pivotal message about transformation and resilience through the Buddha's teachings, the Eightfold Path shows its practical significance in contemporary contexts, especially in facing environmental challenges. Through right effort, we are inspired to cultivate sustainable habits that minimize harm to our planet. Right mindfulness enhances our consciousness of the ecological implications of our choices prompting more thoughtful consumption. Embodied through initiatives like reforestation, right action demonstrates the power of collective endeavor in mending the fabric of our environment. Visual examples of community-driven green projects not only enlighten, but also motivate us, emphasizing how adherence to the Eightfold Path can lead to impactful environmental stewardship. This perspective encourages a balanced coexistence with nature reflecting the enduring relevance of Buddhist principles.